time when he was only six, so I don't know how it ago. Menard, the definitive small town guy from Moran, Louisiana. Nice. He's got all the goods. Yes. Right? It's a little early for that comparison, obviously, but not in Haney's mind. He does have one punch knocked out. Nice combination from Beautiful. Three. You know, when you have athleticism like Haney, wow. That could have ended things. But when you have athleticism like him, and 19 years old, very good movement. Good. He boxes with his mouth open. Oh. With any kind of. Throw him the jab early, be quick, give him a lot of movement, he's done. Nice combination again. Because the kid was homeschooled. That's right. You know, in the feature, we ran a couple of uh, fights. The fact that he even knows who Charlie... You know, he told us winning wasn't good enough. Yes, but to keep attacking, which means he's going to put... Anthony with that sharp counterpunch. And throw it. Does that. Lands with counterpunches, fast, explosive. I keep saying this, but not just keep plotting. Like, he's too slow. Down a little. I know he's fast, but... That earlier comes true, which is... He's got the face of a 15 year old. Yeah, he the baby face, he's young. But the kid could fight, I think. He's paid off smart with all the best. I'm not gonna hit him in the face right now. <laughs> Step in the right direction. I thought Menard got a little closer to it last <laughs> There it is. That's the thing. He's a very savvy fighter for a kid. He's moving left and right. Yeah, he is. Backward and forward. Mostly laterally. This really fights like a much more mature fighter than a guy who's 19 years old. I think Mason's trying to get confused and discouraged, frustrated. Look at that jab. I mean, Wow. Wow. Menard needs to make some some changes. He's got to adapt more. A young man that still hasn't developed into a full grown man. He was waiting for that counter uppercut. Just missed it. Down. Does his technique suffer at all? No, so far. Not round, round six. Yeah. It looks like round number one is fair to be. Oops. See, now he's sitting down. down. He's sitting down more in yeah. the shots now. For a very special premiere. With the world. Shows you he gets the big picture. Well, is this Groundhog's Day or coming up? Right. I think he'd like that. Be nice. And Menard's really not mixing his approach up much because he can't. He's not. He's not quicker. He's not faster. That was a left hand from Menard. That was some road joint moved by us, and he, he's done. It's, it's just more gonna get knocked out. He said he didn't really hit hard in the corner rounds and. Just end the fight, not get knocked out. And he's a teenager, so... I mean, look what he's doing now in this fight. Can you imagine when he turns... There's a chopping right hand. Oh, hurt on his opponent. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking, because he's at last... Shot he told you that. Yeah, is. It's frustrating to fight a guy with that kind of stuff. For anybody. But you know, th this is our first look at Devin Haney, and to want to see the future happen a little faster. Absolutely. Who's he going to fight next? When is he going to fight for a title? Well, I got to think he's not far away from a breakthrough fight. No, no, we're done. We're, we're done. Listen, we're, we're stopping. We're good. They're going to wow, stop, stop the fight. Listen, we just... Round number nine. Your winner by TKO. Still undefeated. And the new USBA lightweight champion from Las Vegas, Devin the Dream Hayes.